Hey guys, welcome. This is Kino. Welcome to episode 2 of Agrarian Skies 2. Last episode we made a good start. We have a lot of wood. We started our Tinker's Construct. And for this episode I want to get more into uh, getting stone, getting some iron, so we can boost our production speed. Um, I have been doing a little bit of wood, f uh, wood farming, so I have a few more stones from the saplings I turned into uh, stuffs and yes let's go create something we need we need a furnace and the cheapest furnace you can get is the slab furnace there we go so we have a slab furnace um, I think if I remember correctly you can turn these back into cobblestone no it's only working for wood slabs too bad Ah well, we have some slabs here, that's okay. Next, what shall we do with our furnace? We need to get some lava, because we don't want to create cobblestone by sifting dirt. That's just a way too slow process. So we need a lava generator. To get lava, we must have some... Um, let's see, I think the quest book will provide some for us. And we have... Is this the one? No. No, where is it? There we go. We need one clay and we can pick the porcelain clay, which we are going to need. So, how to get one clay? Well, actually I got one from a quest reward. So, I can just claim it. Otherwise, I would have won. I would have needed to wait for the rain. So, we get another sheep and let's go for the porcelain clay. Good. So let's put away our sheep bag. Now let's see the quest book. Mhm. Mm Fired clay bucket. So we do need some more clay. Um, let's see. We can turn this into. Yes, 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 yes. Let's do that. There we go. Clay balls. And we can turn this into a. Oops. Into a, an unfired clay bucket. But for the quest, we need a fired clay bucket. Um, first of all, let's do this. Let's go grab a bit of charcoal. So that would make smelting stuff a lot easier. There we go. Ah, let's put the rest in as well. Cool. So, wait, um, furnace, let's put the clay bucket in right now, yes, two charcoal will be a good start, I will cook up a bit more in between episodes, or in between cuts I must say, and there we go, the clay bucket, so let's see, at the quest book, cool, we get eight more clay, nice, wow, that opened up a lot. We need porcelain clay. Seven. I have that. Um, what is it asking for? Oh, we need to craft it. Ah, well, guess what? We're lucky. We have clay. And we have bone meal. And there we go. Porcelain clay. Cool. Now we need to make a crucible which is this unfired and it wants a fired one so guess what crucible bit of wood let's fire her up cool very simple let's make some torches we need a torch in order to get some lava and where shall we put it I think right over here is a good spot yeah I like that. Nice. And we have a fired crucible. Quest book. Lava. We need a bucket of lava. Okay. So let's put up our crucible right here. And yeah, now we need four stone. Do we have cobble? We don't. Okay. That's not a big issue. We will get that very soon. 
Um, let's see, water from air, nah, I don't think that's too important right now. Nor is this, it will be nice on the tools though, but mm, not yet. And this, yes, let's go for the broken iron ore. Let's see, for that we need gravel. Let's put the gravel through the sifter, let's see what we get. If we get four, I will be very happy. And I don't think I will. One. Mm. That's not too good, but oh well, we have one at least. Uh, let's put away some stuff I don't need. And unfortunately, yeah, we do need four. So that means I have to punch down a lot more of the stuff. Uh, might I be able to get some iron? I don't think I can do that yet. I'll just need to cut down a lot more trees for that. So let's see what else do we have. Do we have a quest giving us iron? Do we have something that gives us iron? Uh, we did this one. A void bag. We don't need that. Aluminum or berry bush. Hmm, not bad. But, nah. We cannot get iron right now. Too bad. We need to do a lot more farming for this. Um, let me think for a second. What would be best? Ah, oh, yeah. I know. We need a mob farm. Of course we do. Uh, let's get some planks going. Let's turn these into slabs. And let's build out a bit. Uh, we're gonna do that uh, one block in the air, of course, so mobs cannot spawn here. And be very careful. Holding shift is very important. For this I want to go out like maybe a bit 30 blocks or so. And that is so that mobs can spawn. Um, in the mob spawner I'm going to make the very most basic one. And yes, then they will spawn when we are back at the house. I started out with a stack, so once I have half a stack left, that should be fine. There we go. So let's make a little platform here. Four. Nah, a bit bigger. Alright. I'm going to spend some time on creating a little mob farm here. It's basically going to be uh, one dark spawning pad with some half slabs which I can hit from here. I'm gonna make a little walkway here um, with some op with some railings so I don't fall off. Since we don't want to fall in the void with all the stuff. I'm gonna cut down a few more trees. Trying to get some more iron and once I have all the broken... Uh, oh, this is aluminum even. Dang it. Um, well, once I get four broken iron ore, I will be right back. Or... Nope better idea. I want to get lava. I need lava. So I'm going to grab, I think it's four cobble, so I'm going to need a lot of saplings. So I'll do that in between episodes or in between cuts and I'll see you in a second. Alright, I did some work and I finally got four pieces of cobblestone. So let's put those in here and this should become exactly one bucket of lava. Also I have expanded a little area here. This is um, safe so I can not fall off. Mobs can't spawn on it. And this is where I'm going to build my primitive mob spawner. So I want one block to walk around so this is where the spawning is going to be happening. Let's see. Um, no not right here. So this will be the spawning area. Um, I do want to raise it up a little bit, so I don't have the risk of being hit while standing here. Being hit means I need to eat more to compensate for the damage, and that's something I don't want to do. I don't have a good food situation just yet. So next up, we move up a few blocks, cut down 
Oh, wait. Oh, this is stupid. Okay, um, let's just continue this line up here. Like so. We'll fix the bottom part later. Important is that we do this all the way around. Like uh, so. Good. So now we have one block spawning space, two blocks, three blocks. And this is the amount of spawning space I want there to be for the mobs. And yes, I also want Enderman to be able to spawn here. Because, well, we need Ender Pearls. So let's get this stuff a little bit higher. Almost there. Alright, let's use a few planks. Well, not that many. That's better. Alright, now we quickly need another crafting bench. Didn't bring one with me, unfortunately, but oh well. Let's do it like this. Okay. And let's make a few more slabs. Good. Doesn't matter if we have a bit too many. These are very easy to make, very cheap. So let's just make everything we need. This last layer is important so mobs cannot spawn up here. Since we only want them inside the farm and not on top of it. And it is getting night time I see. So it's gonna be important to go sleep very soon. We don't want mobs spawning on the, on, the end, on the other end of the island. There we go. Nice, the red spots. Run back to the bed. And let's get some sleep. Alright. I'm still waiting for a bit of rain. Because I want to collect a bit of water. I at least want to have an infinite water source. So, okay, let's run back, let's fix that little part right here. The part that looks like crap. Wait, why not use this? A lot faster. There we go. We have a spawn area. Sweet. Most basic of basic mob farms completed. Cool. So, let's test it out. Let's go back a bit. And let's, well, let's just harvest this tree in the meantime. How's the lava doing? Oh, we are getting there. We're over halfway there. Cool. Ah, some food is ready. Nice. Alright, this is going quite well. Let's grab a few more saplings. There we go, another crook. We need that. It's always good when a tree grows by itself. Oh, come here, yes. Oh man, I can't wait till I can finally get cobblestone the easy way. By just mining it and very shortly by just automatically farming it. It's gonna take a bit of sifting so I do need to farm some cobblestone by hand and well since the lava is almost ready that means our manual cobblestone farm will also be almost ready. Yes, let's see how far are you. Ooh, two-thirds of the way, cool. Nothing has spawned yet, uh, let's move back a bit more and uh, let's see if something spawns in my spawn area back there. Yes, 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 it happens. There is something. What is it? I wanna kill it. 
don't have a sword yet, so what am I going to use? Uh, repair material flint. Yes, I can use this. I don't care about repair material flint. Does this give experience if I use it on the mobs? I have three at the moment. Yes, it does. Nice. That was some dude named Flatbeard. Right. Okay. So that means I can level up my pickaxe here by hitting the mobs. It does mm, terrible damage, but ah oh well. You need to start somewhere. Let's eat a bit. Good. That one will be lighter and almost done. Let's see where are we going to put this. I think if I put the lava here. This should work just fine. Um, or should it? Might want it a bit higher up. How do we do that? Hmm. Where do we want it? Where do we want to put the lava? Hmm. Um, yeah. I really want rain. I wonder, does the rainmaker work? What do we need for it to work? Where is it? Is it right here? Yes. Rainmaker, make rain. Ooh. Oh, baby. Ouch. No, what? It blew up. Holy cow. I did not expect it to blow up. It... holy shit. <laughs> oh man, I did not expect it to blow up. It took some of my... no, it took some of my clay. Oh dear clay. Well, here's some wood for you. But yeah, we're getting water. We're getting water. And we have a bucket of lava. Awesome. Um. I must be smart with this, I think. If I take the lava now, I can't put it anywhere else. But I can use the water. Alright, so first let's make an infinite water source. That should be helpful. And after that, let's go create the uh, the cobble farm. Now, how to approach this? Hmm. We don't have that much room to work with here. Oh man, it's been a while since I made a genuine farm for cobblestone. Hmm. I'll figure something out. But, yay, water. And lava, even better. Is it full? Come on, you can do it. Yes, we have water. We have water. Alright, let's... Um, yeah. Let's put it here. And let's grab another one. And let's put that right uh, here. And the third one right here. Now we should have... oh, we don't. Uh, half slap. Half slap. You go... Hmm. there and there. Now you should fill up. You should. Yes. Infinite water source achieved. Perfect. Now for the uh, for the cobble farm. Let's see what we can dig away here. All right, we can dig away a bit. Ooh. I see a bunch of mobs. Sorry, distracted. 
Let's go kill the mobs first. Let's do that. That's one. Bold zombie. Oh. Nice. Oh, and we got reinforced and a modifier on the pickaxe. Not bad, not bad. And we got a common treasure. This is a good start. Very good. Nice. So what does the treasure hold for us? Ooh, gold ingot and a splash potion of slowness. And some gold coins. Not bad, not bad. Good start. Alright. I'm actually already tired of this rain. Already. And go away. Just piss off. Right? I'm working here. Alright, do we have any room left below here? Ah, that's positive. That is positive. So I might be able to put the lava here, flowing it down. And then... Hmm, let's see. Can we go back down here? It would be a great spot for the water. Ah, this looks promising. What if we were to put the water right here? No, right here. How far do you get? Um. Well, actually. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. If we let the lava flow on top. Mm, no, I want the water to start earlier. So let's go around the corner few blocks and let's put it right here so I can stand right here and keep on yeah that should be it all right time to grab our lava but first we have a quest book and we have a quest for lava good and we get ooh aluminum brass ingots very nice what is next? Playing with dolls. Okay. Mycelium. Interesting. That's gonna take some time. I think this is gonna be the next one. The iron quest. Do we have food? We should have food. There it is. Food. Good. Just eat. Oh, skelly. Oh, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. Got it. Let's put the lava here, and this should create for me a cobble farm. Oh yes, and if I stand here... Perfect. Oh yes, this is gonna save me a lot of time. Very good. Alright, so let me do a little bit more of gathering. Let's first get a quick nap, because I'm tired of the rain, I'm tired of the mobs. So let's see. Rain is gone. Let's kill the last few mobs here. Eat a bit more. And we're almost ready to do some more grindy stuffs. Yes. Come on, drop something. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to mine a crap ton of stone. So I can start getting all the iron I need. Once I have enough iron, I'll be right back with you. Alright, I have been collecting a little bit of cobblestone. Uh, I killed a few mobs and I found this uncommon, uncommon treasure. So let's see what it holds. Ah. Just a bunch of gold coins. We're getting the hang of these, that's quite alright. I've been doing a little bit of sifting and I have got four broken iron ore. Very good, so let's check out our quest. Now we need to craft iron ore gravel, so let's do that. There we go. Next, we need to crush it into iron dust. 
or iron dust, crushed iron ore. We put that back together into iron ore sand. And yes, the quest continues, so let's put it down again, hit it. And this is actually the most efficient way to get ore, since you see we have now one piece left over. And uh, there we go, we've completed it and we get four more iron ore dust. Good, now we have five iron we can smelt. And let's do that right away. I definitely want the iron. Iron is going to be very useful. I'm going to make a bucket, I'm going to make shears. This is going to help a lot in progressing a lot faster. So let's put away our potato again. And yeah, I really want to start on automating some stuff. I put another four cobble in here, so let's do another four. And now we should have enough for another two buckets. And to make that easier to move around, we are going to use a genuine bucket. Oh yes, it's about time. Now we can move lava around, we can do whatever we want with it. Instead of having to use clay buckets which only have one single use. Nice. So let's take a look at the quest book. What can we do next? Um, lumberjack, workshop table. We could do the fishing rod. Yeah, let's do that. That's an easy one. Let's do the fishing rod. One, two. We have enough sticks on us, so let's create the fishing rod. And one, two, three. Good. Next we need a fish. Ooh. Now this is for some people quite difficult to do, but basically what you do here, stand in this corner, aim all the way up, fire it up, and there we go. We can fish like usual. So it will take a second. One of the more boring parts of Minecraft, if you'd ask me, but... Oh well, it's for a quest. And it should give us a bit of food. Come on. There it comes. Perfect. We have completed our quest. What do we want? Half a heart? Or aluminum or berry bush? I know what I want. Oh, and we get some salmon. Not bad. More food. I like it. And this opens up millstone. We need to get flour. Okay. Okay. Oh, caps. How do we get flour? Mortar and pestle and weed. How does one get this? Three stone and a stick. Alright, alright, we can do that. We can do that. That's a rather iron. Let's take eight stone. With this iron I definitely want to make some shears. So I can get a lot more dirt a lot easier. With this you can basically just ravage these trees. Get everything you want. And these leaves you can compost again into dirt. But instead of having to wait for all the saplings you get enormous amounts of leaves to process very quickly. As you can see over a hundred leaves already. Cool. A lot faster. Gotta love the shears in the beginning. So let's cut down the trees as well. While we are waiting for a stone to cook up. Oh, it broke. No, it broke. Fix it. Piece of flint. Right there. And this guy. Good. Very good. Alright. Get the saplings back out. And we can continue. The stone is ready. Perfect. Let's go grab ourselves a mortar and pestle. 
put a bit of weed next to it and we have the flower good 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 and that's it for the quest good we don't want the quarter of a heart let's take the reward back Ooh, and 16 bread nice this is going quite well a good start um let's cook this yeah let's cook it now ah, let's put some stuff away Alright, let's open the reward bag. I am excited. What is it? It's a basic one. Come on, reward bag. A nut Mac sapling. Hmm. It's good for some food, but I'm not that thrilled by it. Oh well. What else? Yeah, let's do. Put you away. And let's fill these up. Only eight leaves to get one dirt so this is eight and five it's 13 more dirt nice 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 that's a good increase in the amount of dirt that we have I like it uh, next quest oh the slab furnace we already did this one uh, no way not the bone crook I'll take the reward back once again and we got some more charcoal or oh, it's coal not even better Let's put the heart away and another basic reward pack. Come on, reward pack. Ooh, more color glowstone. I like it. Nice. Oh, almost done. Cool. And some more leaves. Nice. We can very soon start on Agricraft, on Agricraft so we can get better food sources. Uh, let's quickly check the quest book again. We've completed this first part. How much does it cost to create a trash can? Let's see. Oh, but that's something we can do. That's definitely something we can do. Let's do it. Let's do it. Three stone. I still have three stone. There. This guy. And we have a trash can. Not that I am going to use it, but yes, we have it. And we get a void bag. Let's dump these. And next. Automated tedium. Super crafting frame. Hmm. What's this? Sticks and a crafting table. Let's do it. Let's just make it. Why not? It's a quest. Alright. The super crafting frame. And. Oh. Super void frame and super item frame. And this is a dropper, that's okay, and an ender pearl. Yeah, I don't really want to continue or finish this quest just yet. I want to use the ender pearl for something different. So that's gonna have to wait a little bit till I get one more ender pearl. Oh, let's sleep quickly. So yeah, the ender pearl part, that's just gonna have to wait a little bit. What else do we have? Let's see. Workshop table, charger production, is that expensive? It is, it is for me at the moment, so this is gonna have to wait a little bit. I lumberjack or hand grinding, not really something I can do. I can do this, yes, 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 oh, enderman get away uh, let's see let's put yeah let's do it right here let's cut away a bit of this area good let's place down nine cobble and let's go grab our uh, how is it called our barrel Thank 
you. Okay, now let's put a barrel on top of this stone stuff here, get the bucket out, and this should create mossy cobble over time. Nice. Okay, well, for this episode we have our stone production on the way, we have our first ores, and yeah, I think this is a nice point to wrap up. We also have the mob farm now. We have made some good progress. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and I will see you later.